You might have heard the terms canonical AMP, native AMP, or AMP first floating around. And it's time to talk about using AMP as your primary development framework. Paul, this is great. Uh, but you are really cutting it close on your flight to Tokyo. Yeah, but it's kind of the whole point, uh, the whole theme of the conference. I mean, we need this video before the conference. You need to get to the conference. All right, that's cool. I guess we'll just do it live. <laughs> All right, contrary to popular belief, AMP isn't just a format or channel that somehow is not the web. It's not an SEO thing. It's not a replacement for HTML. It's a web component framework that can and maybe should power your whole site. Reactions to this might go from, you fool to, yeah, right, you Google monkey too. Well, why doesn't it appear in framework comparison tables? And the latter one is actually an interesting one. Why doesn't it appear next to frameworks like React or Angular or Vue? The first reason that AMP isn't a JavaScript framework. It's a framework written in JS, but technically you're authoring the content in HTML, so it's an HTML framework. Now, HTML frameworks are nothing new, but people are not really considering them as a serious alternative yet. The second reason is that many compare AMP to RSS, and the media has positioned it as a competitor to certain other big companies' walled garden media formats. Now, that certainly didn't help, but we, the AMP team, have never told the story that way for what it's worth. Now, the web is already a great distribution format, and AMP just improves upon it by further accelerating delivery via AMP caches, and for instance, by inlining CSS. And third, most sites today are built as paired AMP. That's a technique that we allow that connects a existing non-AMP website with the AMP equivalent of the same site. Now, that really lowers the investment initially, but like packing a bag and then forgetting something that you had to pack later, so you have to add a second bag and then travel with two bags, it's the same with paired AMP. You now have to maintain two versions of the same site, and it was never really meant as an end state to AMP development. So, where does that leave us? In the wrong place. Let's turn around. We want AMP to become a natural choice for modern web development, for everything content related. For you to use AMP as a framework because it truly makes you more productive. Now, we might not be there yet for everything, but it's our core mission. AMP is the main framework to use what is good. AMP is to use layout, styling, and the content of the content of the content of the content.裏で動く ただ、アンプは昔と比べて多くのソクメンで進化を重ねていて、皆さんが何か新しいものを作る際にはきっとお役に立つことでしょう。と的にはステートバイナルをするアンプエンド、リアルタイムなデータを扱うアンプリスト
article writer at Google, specifically on, you guessed it, the AMP project. <laughs> um, I'm so excited to be here today and to be able to work on my passion, the web, and a, a framework that does so well at keeping it open and available for everyone. So, I'm going to talk about the MC, 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 Um, so I'm very excited, Crystal. Um, at the same time, I'm very, really excited that we are able to host this AMP conference, um, the annual AMP event here in Guess Tokyo. Tokyo! Yay! Woo! Oh, look at me! <laughs> ちょっと背景を話すと2017年から始まったアンプコンフです一番最初はニューヨークで開催されましたでそこから大陸を移ってですねヨーロッパオランダはアムステルダムで去年は開催されましたそして今年はあ絶対にアジアで開催したいというそんな機運が高まってたんですけどそれが東京でこう開催されたということで、まあ、私自身はもう本当に東京のオリンピックが決まったよりも全然嬉しくもう本当に盛り上がっているわけですはい、えー、ということで Are you really excited about this? I could seriously Not be more excited.、Um, it is not only、uh, my first time in Japan, it's my first time in Tokyo. It is my first AMP Conf and it is my first time moderating. So thank you so much for joining us on all these fantastic firsts. And definitely tweet at me all of your, Jap all of your Japan recommendations. I want to know. It's gonna be your day.、Yeah. <laughs> and like, speaking of which, like, you're wearing a, like, a beautiful traditional Japanese yukata, isn't it? And so are you. And by the way, my first yukata. <laughs> Yay, thank you so much. So, we're really honored to wear this outfit. It was just built for this conference.ということでですね、三重に型紙職人をされているキム兄さんに、今回のこのイベントのためだけに、こちらの衣装を作っていただきました。なので、キム兄さん、本当にありがとうございます。あの本日、本当に気分がもう最高にあの上がった状態でこのカンファレンスを、えー、できるかなというふうに思います。At the same time, I really feel the diverse of this AMP.、Um, it's not just about the webmasters, it's not just about the developers, but like these traditional Yukata designers are also interested in supporting AMP. Isn't that a thing? Absolutely. So I have so many, many favorite things about AMP. It's hard to choose. But one of them is that we don't only reach developers globally, but we are now reaching people in different i n d u s t r y AMP is really becoming something that is for everyone. ということで、えーっとまあ、こういうふうにいろいろなダイバースな人たちに支えられて盛り上がってるアンプっていうのは分かったかなと思うんですけどちょっとここの皆さんのオーディエンスの、えー、多様性みたいなのをちょっと見ていきたいなというふうに思います、えー、皆さんあの今から質問をするのでぜひとも手を挙げてください今日この中でですね、えー、東京から来てる人東京在住の人おおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおえー、東京以外から来られてる方どのくらいいらっしゃいますでしょうか、えー、私は神奈川から来てるんで私もこの中入るんですけどあのその中で沖縄から来られてる方とかいらっしゃいますいますあいないですかあのもし恥ずかしくて手挙げてないんで後でちょっといろいろ会話しましょう。Um, at the same time, like AMP Conf is not just for Japan, of course. Raise your hand if you're from Asia, Pacific, China, India, Southeast Asia, Australia. Today's your day. Please have fun. And then I want to know Europe, Middle East, and Africa. There we go.、Uh, I was expecting more hands than that. Come on. Those are three big continents right there. <laughs> no, thank you so much for joining us. And what about the Americas?、Woo! That's me, San Francisco. Oh, oh, fantastic. I want to see your hand if it's North America, South America, Mexico, Brazil. Thank you so much for coming all the way out here. And lastly, anywhere else. That includes the Antarctic, North Pole Galaxy, and my mountain viewers. Let me see you. <laughs> There's a lot of mountain viewers here.、Yeah. And of course, we want to give. A very, very, very special shout out to all of you joining us on the live stream today.、Um, when I've joined conferences on the live stream, I don't always believe them when, we're, when they say you're, you're really a part of this. And you truly are. We're going to invite you to participate as much as possible、um, in the conference. We're so excited to have you joining us. Now, the live stream of the Minasan, I'm going to go to the live stream of the Minasan. So, I'm going to go to the live stream of the Minasan. So, I'm going to go to the live stream of the Minasan. So, I'm going to go to the live stream of the Minasan. とても強くですねコードコンタクトを
持っていますで、えー、詳しくはですねアンプドットデブのリンクを踏んでいただけたらなというふうに思うんですが、えー、テーマはすごくシンプルです「Be excellent to each other」なので互いを尊重しちゃってください一緒にこのアンプコンフを楽しい会にしていきたいなというふうに思っています This one is so important, we're going to repeat it twice. The code of, content,、uh, code of conduct. Be excellent to each other. As we can see from all the different hands being raised, we have a lot of different cultures, a lot of different backgrounds, and it's one of those things that does make AMP so beautiful and make conferences like this so wonderful to attend. And we just want to make sure that everybody feels welcome in this environment and has such a great time. So please be as polite as possible, be as forgiving as possible. But if you see anything that just doesn't feel right or makes you uncomfortable or takes away from the wonderful things, That is AmpConf. This is the way to let us know about it or come up to any Amper、um, staffing any of the booth, and we're going to address any issues you have. So, thank you very much. そして今回、えー、もう一つ大事なテーマがあります、えー、と language inclusiveness ですで、えー、と今回は、えー、本当に言語の壁を感じさせないようなあ会に、えー、していきたいなというふうに思います私のように日本語で話している場合はヘッドセットをつけると英語にトランスレートされますし英語のセッションも多くあります英語のセッションの場合には、えー、ヘッドセットつけるとそれが、えー、日本語にトランスレートするようになりますまたアンプのチームは今回ご来場いただいている皆さんと、えー、ぜひとも直接会話をしたいというふうに思っていますもしかしたらそのアンプのメンバーは英語を主にこう話すものかもしれませんただ発音などは気にしないでください積極的に話していきましょうまた私のように日本語や英語両方とも話すものや他の言語を話す人たちもいますなのでみんなでこのダイバースな楽しい会を作って会話をしていきましょう So, I don't know if you've noticed, but、um, Yusuke is speaking in Japanese and I'm speaking in English. <laughs> and we have, again, with all these different cultures, that comes with so many different languages. So, please take the time to be patient and communicate with one another and have this language inclusiveness. I don't want anybody to feel embarrassed if、um, you're speaking with somebody who is speaking a different native language than yours.、Uh, one of my favorite things about traveling around with AMP, especially in the AMP road shows, is going to these different places and speaking with different people and really learning what their backgrounds are and learning what their struggles. And what they need to gain from AMP. So please go speak to one another. Please be inclusive about the different languages. It's really worth the extra effort. 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 It's really worth the Yep, so in order to be tweeting, you need to be connected to the network. It is, guess what? AmpConf.、Yeah. And it is also on your badges.、Uh, there is no password required. You just have to tap right in. It's just that simple. えー、それであのこのアカデミーヒルズ結構広いです、えっと、ちょっと路地回りを話をさせていただくと今皆さんがいる,いるのがここの7番の会場ですねジェネラルセッションここで全てのセッションが、えー、行われます、えー、昼食やアフターパーティーは8番の一番奥の会場に移動してくださいあとはですね3番4番で、えー、デモやチュートリアルを行う部屋もありますし、えー、ここの部屋のちょうど隣ですねにマザーズルームなどもありますのでぜひともご利用ください <laughs> yes, so we were going to have a real life sandbox, but the venue did not allow that. So instead, we are staffing it with demos and tutorials. We will have a Google booth specific to all of your Google questions. Everything else is going to be AMP directed,、um, that's going to answer all of your questions about design and user experience.、Um, Stories is launching a bunch of brand new features. We're going to be so excited to hear about that a little bit later today. Email is live out in the wild. Some of you should have got that AMP email, so please go visit that booth and ask all of the questions there. Um, we're going to have a booth on interactivity and performance. Make sure your pages are engaging for your users and performing to their needs.、Um, one of the most popular questions I get all of the time traveling around the roadshow is analytics. We have a booth for that, and it is staffed by some very, very knowledgeable、um, AMP Core team members. So please go take all of your questions to them. And you can live code AMP today with the tutorial booth. So please, it's just around the corner,、um, as we showed on the map. Go check it out. Go talk to the AMP team. They're so excited to、um, answer all of your questions. そしてちょっとスケジュールのおさらいをしていきたいというふうに思います今日はですね我々のオープニングノーツが終わった後に、えー、基調講演がありますキーノートがありますその後に、えー、午前中は、えー、3つ、えー、トークがありますそしてお昼を挟んで午後に8つですね8個もあるので本当にあのぎゅうぎゅう詰めなんですけどぜひも集中して聞いていっていただけたらと思いますそして1点ちょっとお,お伝えしておきたいのが今回のこの、えー、イベントのセッションはすべ、えー、てですね、えー、YouTube のアンプチャンネルに掲載されますなので、えー、スライドをこうパシャパシャ取ったりとかっていうのは不要ですあのゆったりとこう、えー、ご覧になっていただけたらなというふうに思います。
Um, and after all the excitement from the conference today, we are going to have a party with entertainment featuring live poetry by myself and Yusuke. Woo. Woo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got an actual <laughs> uh, Well, now I feel bad. Just kidding. We're going to be having Day Day Mounds, uh, a wonderful DJ performing tonight. But we're also going to have a bunch of other stuff. There's going to be uh, party things such as food, drinks. Um, we're going to have a photo booth where you can turn yourself into a GIF right there. Uh, we're going to have Pac-Man Battle Royale and... We will also be performing poetry upon request. <laughs> but I highly encourage you to uh, take pictures with us uh, once we're wearing these wonderful yukatas. We are much better posers than we are poets. せっかくなので一緒にあの外に本日の5時半からTSCパネルっていうパネルがあるんですけどそのグループに対して何か質問をしたい場合にもぜひともご利用ください。yeah, so a big change from last year's AmpConf is we now have a technical steering committee and a governance model. And we will be featuring um, the people on the technical steering committee on a panel today. Please submit your questions about anything related to that on sli.do, sli.do. There's also, um, I'm sure Yusuke just covered it, um, uh, an open chat room for general questions, and then there will be a Google-specific panel tomorrow that you can already start submitting questions for. Opening notes, Shall we? Yeah, so welcome to AmpConf. Let's go. Please. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, please join me for the moment we've all been waiting for as we welcome Malta to the stage. Hey everyone, my name is Malta and I'm a member of the newly formed Technical Steering Committee for AMP. And I'm also the tech lead for the team at Google that is working on AMP. Welcome, welcome everyone watching on the live stream and of course everyone here in the audience. Thanks so much for joining us today. We're so excited to be in Tokyo this year. We've now had MCOMF in three different regions across the world, and I think it's particularly awesome to be here in Asia, and especially Japan, because publishers and platform have been incredibly successful with AMP over here. In fact, publishers and e-commerce websites based in Asia are some of the strongest users, supporters, and contributors to AMP. We're so excited to have many of those folks here today and actually speaking at MCOMF. Many of the platforms that link out to AMP content are based here in Asia. At the first AmpConf two years ago, we announced that Yahoo Japan, Baidu, and Sogu were bringing AMP to the users. In particular, Yahoo Japan is a strong supporter of AMP. They launched AMP in their Blue Link search product in 2017, and last year, Yahoo Travel, as well as two additional services within Yahoo, adopted AMP as a publisher. This year, they're working on signed exchanges, which is going to be a big part of this keynote. This past October, we celebrated AMP's third birthday. It's been quite a journey since AMP was born in 2015, so let's take a look back at where we've been and what AMP can do for you.
Wow, that's 852 open source contributors to AMP. A huge thank you from all of us for your help. We would definitely not be where we are today without you. Thank you very much. As we've just seen, AMP has expanded a lot since it was first announced. Or originally, AMP was known for these simplistic pages for publishers, but AMP now powers experiences across the web with stories, ads, and emails. Pinterest is a great example of literally doing all of these things and making up the building blocks for how they approach the open web. They link to AMP pages on the product. They're one of the biggest producers of AMP pages on the planet. They're exploring using AMP stories. And finally, they're one of the first senders of AMP emails. So as you can see, AMP has evolved. It's become so much more than the original accelerated mobile pages name. In fact, we're not just mobile, and we're not just pages. So it doesn't really make sense to use that long, awkward face. That's why moving forward, we're just going to be known as the AMP project. No acronym, just a word that signifies great user experience across the web. The theme that AMP is now more than just pages is also transforming our super freshly launched project website, amp.dev. Because you as a developer are probably not working on ads and emails at the same time. And so the new website is structured across the major themes, making it quicker to find what you're looking for. And the site is not just a new redesign. The new use case section is centered around examples that push the boundary of what is possible with the web. And we're hoping it'll inspire you to do more with AMP as well. While we've shown this before, I feel it's important to revisit the vision and the mission of the AMP project. We're here for a strong, user-first, open web forever. And to achieve that, we're supporting the long-term success of web publishers, merchants, and advertisers. At the core of this mission is the representation of the all stakeholders of the web. And to make be and better reflect those stakeholders, we changed AMP governance model to formally include voices from across the web. So governance is just a fancy word for the rules and groups that decide what happens with the AMP project. It includes the Technical Steering Committee, or TSC, of which I'm a member, the Advisory Committee, which is bringing more perspective into the AMP project leadership, and finally, the Working Groups. Those groups are the easiest way to contribute to AMP, and we'd love to see many of you bring your ideas to life by joining one of these groups. All of the TSC members, many of the EC members, and many of the Working Group members are here today. I'd like to recognize them by standing up if there's anyone around. You'll hear more from the TSC later today in our closing panel. All right. When I think of the web platform, I think of three main pillars. There's HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And while AMP itself is written in JavaScript, so far, when you build an AMP page, you only had HTML and CSS as your, at your disposal. You could say that AMP was incomplete. But that is changing now. Based on a revolutionary technology called Worker Dumb, full JavaScript integration is coming to AMP. So just to make this absolutely perfectly clear, you can now run your own JavaScript in AMP documents. On the surface, what we're doing is we're introducing a new extension called AMP Script. And it allows you to run your own JS inside the document. There's, of course, this being AMP, some rules to keep things sync, safe, and of course, fast. This is a big topic. So check out Chris's talk about AMP script right after this keynote. All right. Speaking of JavaScript, one of the most popular ways to create AMP pages is through React server-side rendering. For example, Reddit, Pinterest, and Airbnb use this technology. But so far, everyone kind of had to roll their own thing. An AMP document. But it does demonstrate that the technology is capable of doing far, far more than what we thought initially. So when is this going to be available? It's a lot of work. It's very interesting. Well, Malta talked about this earlier, but it's available today. You can try it out now. And I'm very excited to hear your feedback. I think you're probably going to run into things that need to be fixed or need to be addressed. And as a result, we're opening it up today as an origin trial. So you can go to this URL and register yourself for your domain. 
and we will send you an origin trial token. This will allow you to put AMP script components on pages and try it out. But we really want your feedback. We want to hear what's difficult. We want to hear what's hard. We want to hear what works and what doesn't. And we're looking forward to hearing from you as you try it out. I'm very excited to have been here to talk about AMP script. Thank you so much for having me. に興味深いえ、uh, so that was super, super exciting information. JavaScript is finally available in AMP. Yay. Woo! Ooh. All right. So um, a couple of quick things here. Um, on the slide do, I do not see any questions coming in, guys. And after all of that, there must be so many questions that yep. you want answered. So please start asking them. But also, we can use the app to ask you questions. And we have one up right now, which is uh, if you could describe AMP in one word, what would it be? So please submit that in the sly.do. Um, so coming up next, we're going to have a coffee break. There's going to be coffee available right out there. But before you go, keep in mind, um, we're going to ding um, a bell like this. Come back, come back. It's hard to do one-handed. <laughs> um, and that's your signal to start coming back in and um, take your seats back here in the main session hall. That way we can keep on time and make sure our live viewers, um, our live stream viewers um, can participate as well. ということで、あの、11時まで、あ、11時まで、え、休憩になりますので、え、ぜひとも、あの、デモブースとかチュートリアブースとかもあるので、ぜひ、あの、ご利用ください。はい、それでは休憩に入ります。Thank you so much. Oh, please use this time to check out the booths and tutorials as well. <laughs>
Awesome. So every is everyone back in their seats? Was the break good? Eh,先ほどのあの休憩いかがでしたでしょうか。あのいろんな。人と話をこうする機会になれればいいかなと思ってます。あともう一つあの今ちょっとツイッターのトレンドをチェックしてたんですけど、えっと東京のトレンドの入りをしましたということで皆さんありがとうございます。え、it uh, adapting on amp. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It was it was a different session. Uh, please welcome uh, Melissa from Washington Post. Hi everyone, my name is Melissa DePoit and I am really excited to be here today with you all in Tokyo and on the live stream back home. Hi mom and dad. Uh, and I'm going to be sharing with you today about um, a mindset that I call AMP Core. We talked about you know just all possible JavaScript, right? And now with AMP Script, this is much more possible than it ever was before. Um, and in contrast to sort of the two components that I've mentioned, uh, all possible JavaScript has no focus, right? You can you can make you know pretty much literally anything. Um, it's got infinite flexibility, but it takes a really long time to make those things, right? It's very difficult to to sort of learn and to develop and to debug and doing all these different things. Um, but what's interesting about this is from a developer perspective, all three of these options are now actually available in AMP. Well, sorry, uh, AMP Inline Gallery and Stream Gallery are coming in a few months. Um, so they will be soon. Uh, and so we're actually very interested. You know, we've made, I mentioned before AMP is opinionated. We have opinions um, about how you should do web development. We think that actually using the simplest possible component that's relatively opinionated about sort of uh, how to implement a great user experience is a, is a great way. But we give you all this flexibility to either use the even more flexible but harder to learn uh, base carousel or to just roll your own carousel in AMP scripts. And we're really, really excited to see how developers are going to sort of uh, interact with these things and whether or not um, the sort of simpler components are going to lead to sort of the fastest, the fastest road to a great user experience. So I want to end with just sort of how you can help. Um, and I mentioned before that like, it's much more difficult than you might think for us to understand what it is you're trying to make um, and how the decisions that we make in AMP affect you. And so the more you talk to us, um, the more our opinions going forward will be better for you. Right? This is a win-win for everybody. Um, and so like I said before, uh, we have a booth. Please come and chat with us. Um, we'll be, we'll be you know, standing over there for the next two days. Um, please sign up to chat with us afterwards. Um, we have a ton of questions. Right? We've been sitting in our offices wondering about uh, you know, what frustrates you, and how do you work, and where do you find answers when you're lost, and all these different things. How do you even pick what component you want to use? Um, but also, like, we want to hear whatever you want to tell us. It's always the stuff that you don't anticipate. It's always the questions that you didn't have um, that are the most interesting in user experience. So uh, please sign up. Again, this is the bit.ly link again. Um, and I was, I was thinking about like, how you could sort of identify us um, at our booth, and I really wanted to make these, these badges that say, do you hate AMP? Tell me why. Um, and my manager didn't didn't really like that idea very much. Um, so yeah, just uh, look for me, uh, and we have some other folk, members of the UX team here. Um, and yeah, thank you very much. Wow, thank you so much.
much, Andrew. Um, and to reiterate, if you take away anything from this talk, it is to go talk with Andrew and the design team over at the user experience booth. And that is in the room just behind us. It's labeled demos and tutorials. Um, Andrew will be there, so you can speak with him face to face. Um, so a couple of things before uh, we let you go to lunch. Uh, I see some really great questions coming in, but all of them seem to be in English. So, 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 とかには我々の方でそれを翻訳したものを見せたりしてそれこの中から選定したものを TSC のパネルとかで使ったりしますのでぜひともどしどし使ってみてくださいえそんな感じでですねえっと午前のセッションがこれで終わりになりますなのでえ今から2 hours right so it's gonna we're gonna come back at 2:30 えー、となので2時半にここに戻ってくるような形で、えー、と今からお昼休憩に入ります、えー、とランチは一番奥のおお、えー、場所にですね、えー、ランチボックスを取るところがあるのでぜひとも使ってくださいそれ以外にもランもしあの人が多くてなかなか場所が取れなかった場合にはオーバーフィル、えー、とオーバーフローフ、えーえー、の部屋もありますのでぜひともそちらも利用していただきたいですしデモとかチュートリアとかぜひとも使ってみてください、yeah. so I've talked a lot. <laughs> should I, should we add anything? Yep, so What? just to quickly reiterate in English, lunch is two hours long, and if I have learned anything in my brief time in Japan, there is a lot of food. So you do not need to rush hey. over. Please spend the time、um, interacting with each other, going and talking with Andrew at that booth over there, and speaking with all of the AMP、um, core team that's here and excited. To learn from you as much as、um, you're here to learn from us. So, thank you. Enjoy. See you back here at 2 30 in this room. There's going to be a live coding session. It's going to be awesome. Yay. Thank you. 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 Thank
高校のセッションが始まります皆さんどうでしょうか、えー、ちゃんとお昼ご飯食べれましたでしょうかちょっとあの一点伺いたいんですけど、えー、とアンプチームと誰でもいいのでどんな形でもいいので話したっていう人どのくらいいらっしゃいますでしょうか Please, please raise your hand if you talk to the AMP team directly. Oh, yeah, we have like, what, 50% of the people? The other 50%, please、uh, leverage the、uh, breaks.、Uh, we'll be more than happy to、um, sync up, meet up with you. ということで、えー、次はですね、えー、AMP.dev live ですね、えー、これ、ライブコーディングになりますあの。皆さん、ライブコーディングってされたことあるのかちょっと分かんないんですけど、私も結構、ライブコーディングしたりするんですけど、成功するものもあれば、失敗すするるケースも結構あったりするんですねただなんですけどそのなんかスリルみたいのが多分面白くて実際にこう、えー、ライブで行われてる実装がちゃんと動くのかみたいなそんな話を、えー、ちゃんと見ていただけると面白いのかなというふうに思います、えー、それではじゃあもう行っていきましょうか So、um, let's move on to the next session amp.dev live please welcome Crystal and Sebastian Affiliate linking to sponsors started with m o n i t o r And for more information on that, VAMSI will give a talk tomorrow, first thing tomorrow morning,、uh, uh, the advertising and AMP talk. So, this has been a whirlwind tour of what we've been up to for the past year.、Uh, it's not everything, but it's a few highlights. But where are we going from here? Well, to name a few, we're going to Continue to roll out support for additional embeds, as I mentioned earlier. We want to make creating animations easier so that, well, by, two, by doing two things. We want to make animations easier by expanding the existing preset library of animations, as well as adding support for functionality that will make creating more robust animations within stories. We also want to support reactions. Which are quick actions to provide social feedback on a story to let the story's author as well as other users know how users feel about a story. And lastly, we've been experimenting with a feature that we call branching, which allows you as a publisher to control the user's flow through the story. With the ability to jump from page to page, share a story starting from a specific page of interest, create a table of contents, or even create short quizzes. This feature really amps up the interactivity options in stories. So, if you're interested in getting started, you can check out the stories landing page on amp.dev. This has documentation for stories as well as story ads. Another great resource to check out is the full stories best practices guide on amp.dev at go.amp.dev slash stories best practices. And lastly, if you're here at AmpConf with us today or tomorrow, You can come and check us out in the demos booth or the tutorials room. Thank you. Thank you. Amazing. That was, and, and John said that was just a few of the things, and I felt like that was just jam packed full of so many cool features coming to AMP Stories. Personally, I'm so excited about that travel embed in the Google search results. That would have been so useful for my time here at AMPCOM. あのすごいすごいなと思いましたあのいろんなユースケースがどんどん増えていくしあの今年の後半私これで忙しくなりそうだなってすごく思いました何かあったらお声がけください。So, We're gonna have a break? Yep, so、uh, next up is a 30 minute break, but we have a lot more content coming back here at 4 30. So we'll be back in these seats at 4 30,、um, and we'll be ending today with that technical steering committee panel. So, we're going to have a break. So, we're going to have a break. So, we're going to have a break. So, we're going to have a break.
しい時間もあ,のあっという間に過ぎて最後の休憩をもう終えてしまいました皆さんいかがでしょうか、えー、っとこれから最後の4セッションをやらせて Do this in a way、um, where you still have like, the URLs and things like that、uh, from, that are from the publisher.、Um, and so, you know, yes, 5G is great, but again, like, instant is just like, this different quality of experience as well. And so, we're always going to be thinking about how to invest in AMP to, to, get, to make sure that that is something that we have being more ubiquitous. I was just going to add that even in places with the most advanced infrastructure, with once That 5G is even widespread in availability, there, there will still be widespread impacts to people's user experience, even walking down the street to the actual connection quality that they have. And so a, a slow or lower quality connection is going to be a persistent problem or challenge in the space of wireless connectivity for loading web pages. And I think、uh, one, one final point is that、um, we're bound by the speed of light and, <laughs> and the <laughs> Well, I mean, if you, if you calculate how far away from here a server in the United States is,、um, a round trip is about 200 milliseconds, right? It will, we can, I mean, you know, wormholes, blah, 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 but like, it will not get faster than this. And so,、um, with 200 milliseconds, if you have n round trips, you very quickly get into very large numbers, right? So, the same underlying design that minimizes、um, the number of round trips that you need to, to do meaningful progress. Um, I think it's here to stay and it's, it's, it's forward compatible.、Um, I was earlier joking about going to Mars, but like, <laughs> you know, we will, will, and then、um, we'll have the right technology for it. I find it、uh, really funny that you say we are bound by the speed of light.、Um, and I mean this with all pun intended that the lightning speed of AMP is quite shocking when you consider that I believe in everybody's lifetime in this room, we all experience dial up. <laughs> so、uh, I'm very excited to see what the next couple of years will bring. So、uh, let's th- give a big round of applause for our panelists、um, for giving us such great time and great questions. Uh, and I want to、uh, thank all of the audience members here for submitting such great questions for everyone. And I'm so, so sorry if we didn't have time to get to yours in today's panel.、Um, you may have another chance tomorrow at the Google panel. So please keep submitting questions to that.、Um, a quick reminder we are going to be back in this room tomorrow at 9 a.m. I know we started at 9 30 today, but there's no registration this time. You're going to come right in. And、um, please stick around because just across where we were serving food, there's going to be a fantastic party. And our panelists will all be available、um, for you to t- speak to and maybe get those questions answered. So thank you so much for coming and giving such a wonderful day one of AmpConf. All right, let's go.